guys, how you doing? Uh, just thought I'd give you guys a little update what's been going on here. Um, so last couple days I've been doing the Fujitsu training. I did the fast class on Tuesday. And that was basically your your introduction to Fujitsu mini splits. Just the single or dual zone type stuff. They introduce a little bit of the VRF uh, systems, but that is a little bit bigger. That's a little bit bigger stuff. And my main priority was to get to the EDTT training, which was the the uh, diagnostics and teardown training. So that was really cool to be able to get in there and, and actually take a head apart to actually um, you know stick my leads on uh, the control boards, the uh, filter module, and um, you know test the diodes. That that was pretty cool. So, and just to just to gain some confidence when I'm going into a mini split call, you know, not before now, I'm just not very confident going into one of those calls. But now I do. I feel okay now on that stuff. So, you know, it takes some repetition, just like anything else out in the field. But sounds like a lot of times, you know, if the system was up and running in the first place, and then and now it's not communicating or now it's not um, you know doing this or that it really comes down to just a, a few uh, things that it, it could be and you just need to go through and test that stuff and then just replace the part uh, but it sounds like the compressors don't go out very often it sounds like uh, you know, the motors and stuff like that uh, don't go out a lot so so that's interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I just did that first install last week, and I already learned stuff that I could have done better on that install, you know. So, um, you know, we live and learn, right? Live and learn. So the other thing with Fujitsu was they have their elite contractor program. Uh, so if you... If you can accrue 50 points in training and do 20 installs, then you can become a Fujitsu Elite Contractor. You know, basically what that means is it stands you out from the crowd. Not necessarily with pricing on equipment or anything, but with, um, you know, Fujitsu's come with a basic seven-year seven parts, five-year compressor warranty, and um, uh, or vice versa. But I, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to say seven-year parts, five-year compressor. It might be switched. Um, but here in California, uh, you know, they. Oh, what it is is um, if you register your new Fujitsu system within 60 days then you can up that uh, warranty to 10 year parts 10 year compressor well here in California that doesn't even matter because you don't have to you know there's some stipulation about uh, if it's on, if it's on the table you don't have to register it you just get the automatic highest warranty available so I don't even know what that's about but uh, but Fujitsu said here in California that doesn't even matter. It's 10-year parts, 10-year compressor automatically. So if you're an elite contractor, then you get to uh, you're able to offer a 12-year parts, 12-year compressor warranty on the Fujitsu mini split system. So and that at the you know that is supposed to make you stand out at the dinner table. You know when you're signing the contract. So when you're proposing the system so yeah I guess that matters I'm not you know really too impressed by it but I do like the systems and I want to put them in so um, that you know I'm, I'm looking forward to that Fujitsu General has a uh, Fujitsu General website so it's FujitsuGeneral.com. Um, 
anybody can log in and create a, um, you know, just put your email address and just register with that with FujitsuGeneral.com, and and then all of their all of their instructional information uh, or their technical support information is already right there, and it's in pictures. So if you're on your cell phone out in the field, you can log into Fujitsu General uh, on the uh, and then log into your portal. And right there in the field, you'll basically get the same information that the technical support folks on the phone would be giving you, telling you, you know, put this lead here, put this lead here, you know, test this, what does it do? All right, if, you know, move on to this now, okay, you got a bad board, you know, kind of thing. So, so that's, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And I'm definitely going to use that. They also had another... Uh, what was it here? Let's have an app on your phone. Let's see what we got here. If I download it, it's a pretty big file. It's 138 megs um, uh, file on the uh, online, but it's called uh, Fujitsu General Mobile Technician, and so that's an app. Also. Once you're, once you're, uh, you know, you basically just put your email address and stuff like that, and then it, um, it, uh, you know, you can select the type of system that you're working on. You can enter the uh, model number of the, you know, of the head that you're working on or the outdoor condensing unit you're working on, and it'll basically give you diagnostic troubleshooting um, help right there. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So I got my certificate of Fujitsu trained. Yeah, I'm important. I'm a real technician now. I'm ready to attack some mini splits and get on it. <laughs> so what else is going on? Uh, today I'm going over to um, give an estimate on a new system. Basically this house has no air conditioning so it would be a full cut in and he has already let me know that he doesn't want to do a package unit on the roof which kind of bums me out because it's so much easier just to throw that thing on the roof you just run one electrical circuit one gas line one you know uh, instead of two circuits so uh, we'll see what he has available in the panel I mean you can't be just you can't just be adding tons of you know amperage to uh, to an existing electrical panel if it's I mean if it's upgraded for it you know fine we can do it take some time but I said uh, oh yeah we can put it in the attic he's like yeah we want I want to do it in the garage so so that's fine with me too we just gotta um, I'm down for that too so figure out how to get that in there and. Uh, I'm down to put a system in the garage. All, that means all I got to do in the attic is just uh, just ductwork. And he said it's a 900 square foot house, so so um, yeah, that's a very appealing job to me. I want that. I definitely want that. And, uh, one of the property managers I work for, it's his father-in-law. So uh, so uh, I'm kind of his guy, and he's got more work for me coming up down the road. So. The guys at the uh, Lime, the Lime Cove Court install, which I showed a couple months ago, they're finally finishing up that house, and I get to go back and do startup on it. So basically, I installed that system. I did a video on it. It's called the Lime Cove Court install, and um, uh, basically, I just have to go back because it was a it was a too too heat too cool. Uh, Bryant system that we put in uh, with zoning with Honeywell 9000 Wi-Fi thermostats and uh, so basically it's ready to fire up I just need to uh, I just need to go do that and set it all up set the set the stats up and get it all uh, well I guess he doesn't have his Wi-Fi in there yet but I'll come back and get him up and going on that that was a big job a couple months ago but it'd be nice to go you know, I hate having that system out there and it's not even up and running yet. So, but um, yeah, it's been a uh, been okay this week. You know, I've 
I needed the downtime because I wanted to go do the training. I actually wanted to go do the, um, Root is offering uh, training on their uh, 20 sear uh, inverter system. And so that was gonna be today, Thursday. So I was planning on training Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, but uh, they canceled their class because there wasn't enough interest in it. So that kind of sucks. But, you know, I do, I wanna be able to, I do want to be able to um, offer that system because um, some people are going to want it. You know, not everybody. A lot of people just want your basic systems or whatever. You know, minimum available is is what a lot of people want. But but I always I always like to offer. You know, instead of a a good, better, best scenario. You know, like here we can do a 14 sear. Here we can do a 15 sear. Here we can do a 16 sear. You know. You, you know, I always want to I always want to offer a, a best, better, good scenario. You know, so I'm hoping they'll take the middle, the middle scenario, the middle system, uh, or better. You know what I mean? So, and the the cost difference between my 16 sear and my 14 sear system isn't that much. So, um, you know, when you consider uh, what you'll be getting out of a two heat, one cool system. Now, uh, they have the seven, you know, Root has a 17 sear that we can offer a two heat, two cool system. And I'm totally down to put that in. I should actually uh, insert that into my pricing, but uh, I'm still new, you know, so I'm still getting um, my pricing all figured out. But right now, I have an app, you know, I have that, I have Google Sheets and I have it set up in there to where I can offer a single heat, a single cool in 14, 15, and 16 sear and I have the pricing available for that. I have all the prices right there for me. So, uh, and then the next category over, I have a two heat, one cool, 80% system. Uh, it's an 80% uh, furnace, two heat. And uh, I can offer 14, 15, 16 sear in that. And I have all the prices ready to go on that, all the way from one and a half ton to five ton. And so it's nice to be able to just look up on that sheet, go out to my truck, I can look up on the sheet, I can see, you know, and I, I've already, um, so many times on our jobs, we have to enlarge the return. So instead of, uh, instead of, instead of um, just wondering or adding it in later if they need it, I'm just going ahead and adding that into my pricing. So like, I know it's gonna, you know, very rarely do we not have to enlarge the uh, return to meet Title 24 standards. So um, so I just went ahead and bid it into my job. And if I don't have to enlarge the return, then bonus, you know, so. But it, I still have a great price on my equipment. Um, and then the other option that I have is uh, two heat, 96% uh, single cool. I have 14, 15, and 16 here. And I have all the prices available for that. One and a half all the way down to five ton. And uh, so, you know, that's what kind of what I did this weekend. So I guess I need to move forward and look at the 17 sear and see, you know, what it, uh, the two heat, you know, be able to offer a two heat, two cool uh, option. And then I guess someday they'll come out with pricing for me on the 20 sear and um, the inverter system. And uh, I think, uh, I think it was Tim Breslin was on the other day and he said like that, <laughs> that system's so expensive. I don't know if I'll be able to offer it. I'm kind of the same same way. But you know, you offer it, you put it on the table. They know it's there. If they don't want it, you know, then then that's fine. You just you just offer it as a number. And if that's a number that looks good to them, then it's you know that's their decision. So uh, a lot of people will still just want, you know, hey man, just give me heating and cooling. You know. I don't need all this fancy shit, you know. Some some people are like that, you know. But some people are like, hey, I like the fancy shit. So I um, I don't want this. I want I want the best stuff. So so you offer it because you don't know that you don't know what the type of person that is. You don't you don't know what they uh, what they want. You don't really know them. You've only been there for an hour doing your sales pitch or whatever. So offer it to them. Uh, just like you do your add-ons out there in the field, right? I mean, you, you offer condensate cops, you offer, you know, compressor start kits, you offer, um, you know, Actitech air scrubbers, UV bulbs, and all this stuff. 
because you don't know they they might want it you don't know so you offer it and uh, will it make their system run better will it be better for their their uh, their breathing or their allergies yeah it will be so and if they didn't know about it now they will so so that's why that's what I'm that's what I'm doing I have set up pricing for um, you know economy pricing I, I found uh, I guess I found our our cheapest you know builder grade system that we could possibly put in uh, York has some has a, some equipment called Guardian uh, which whatever um, but I have a, some property managers that I work for and they're always wanting that low bid but when this is when the time comes for a system they're not looking for uh, they're not looking for quality stuff they're, they're just wanting to get get in and get out so so yeah I'm gonna adjust the, I'll get the pricing going you know I don't want to I don't want to I don't know I mean some guys that I've talked to have the philosophy of you know hey I just offer them a 14 sear and a 16 sear and you know and that's what I offer but um, if you could put down five numbers and let them decide which one they want to choose you know maybe that's uh, I'm gonna flirt with that this year so that's what I'm gonna try and do you know you can offer the the 20 the 17 the 16 15 14 and let them decide what they want you know so that's what I'm gonna do this year like I said all my pricing will include having to enlarge the return or you know maybe adding a return it's not that much more in uh, equipment cost to um, to do that <clears throat> but the labor is <clears throat> the labor's there and you're already doing the install anyways so just get it done right so <clears throat> okay well I've been rambling on here uh, long enough um, I just want to shoot a little vlog and kind of let you guys know what's been going on here at Fox family so I will talk to you guys later I'll see you on the next video